it's time for some September empties. Welcome to October. Fall is here. <laughs> some of September has been warm here in Wisconsin and some of it has been kind of fall like it's kind of been all over the place. So um, I kind of feel like my favorites might be a little bit all over the place as well. But anyway, I don't have a ton this month so I will just get started and then I do have some good randoms at the end. <laughs> So here we go. The first thing that I want to talk about, and what's funny is that I have seen a couple other people talk about this primer again. And if you've been with me for quite some time, you remember I used to talk about this primer all the time. And then I went away to some other ones. At any rate, what I'm talking about is the, I have it tipped over because I'm using what's left in this sample. The Hourglass um, Veil Mineral Primer. Primer. I really like this primer. I it's one of those things where you know you love something, you, you went away from it, fell in love with something else, and then you come back and you're like, oh yes, I remember why I like this. This just has that, it definitely has a silicone -y kind of feel to it and it just smooths over your skin. It has almost kind of a brightening effect to it. I love this primer. The only time I don't like this primer is kind of in the dead of winter. I, I need something that has a little more moisture to it, but this really is a very nice primer. It just kind of livens up your skin and... It really is. I have, uh, I finished up the Neutrogena primer that I was using. I have another of the Guerlain primers left that I'm working through, but I wanted to, you know, you know I'm on a mission to use up my stuff, so anyway. And speaking of primers, I want to talk about an eye primer, my eye primer combo. Um, you guys may remember, and I'll link it below if you want to see it. My I have oily eyelids. It's the only part on my body that's oily. I always say that. And I've always... Well, not always. My favorite primer combo that helps my shadows stay put has um, been Urban Decay Primer Co Pro Sh Urban Decay Primer Potion with Mac Painterly Paint Pot over the top of it, and that has worked really well for me. Well, I'm out of both of those, and I'm on a mission to use stuff up. I have ordered um, a friend of mine actually hooked me up and, and ordered a Painterly Paint Pot for me. Um, but it's not here yet, so I, I was like, okay, well, what can I use in the meantime because I'm completely out. So I've been using this primer as my first layer, so to speak, for much longer. I've been using it for a couple of months now. And it's the Merle Norman Eyeshadow Primer. You can only get the, you can't buy it online, you can only, to my knowledge, you can only get it in a Merle Norman studio or whatever. But I really like this. I feel like it smooths over just as well as the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'll list below both the Urban Decay Primer Potion and this and then the cost if you're curious about that. But um, I really like it. it. It has kind of a, if I can get on here, I still have liner on my hand from when I did my liner today. So it's kind of that, and then it just goes out to nothing. So I use that as my base. And then over the top of it, I've been using the Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Eyeshadow Primer and Continuous Almond. Um, I... I wanted to talk about this and I didn't know what video I would actually talk about it in if I didn't talk about here my favorites. It's not, I still like painterly better, let's understand that. But this works really well and I think for travel it might even be easier than the painterly. I, I don't know. But I just kind of, you know, do a few lines on my eyelid and spread it out and it seems to work very well and, and keeps my shadows just as creaseless. What's interesting is that I know this is much less expensive, but I think I'll go through it much more quickly than the Painterly Paint Pot. So that's always something to keep in mind. But at any rate, I just wanted to give a mention to that combo. For um, blushes this month, I've kind of been all over the place. I still, I, and I believe I talked about it last month, so I didn't want to talk about it again, but I still really have enjoyed the combo of Camp Cosmetics Nouveau and Uninhibited together. That's, I probably have worn that more than half of the month. But another blush that I've reached for a lot lately, especially towards the end of the month, is the Maybelline Master Highlight, and this is the one in Mauve. And this is what I'm wearing today, and it just gives the really pretty sort of glow but also kind of a bronzy, mauve here comes fall <laughs> sort of look to it. So there is that. I really, I do really like that blush. And then another one that I pulled out, and I I didn't wear mo as much of the month as um, some other ones, so like the Benefit Rocketeur. I just love that blush. I've talked about that one to death, so I decided not to bring that up. But this is, whoops, I took the cover off. This is Benefit Dallas. And I really like this as an all-over blush or to deepen up your contour kind of towards the back. Um, really like that. And I, I think I got that idea originally from Sarah from Print Polish Shine to kind of deepen up your contour with that. All right, eyeshadows. I know that this is, I'm like a broken record with the rest of the world, but uh, the Urban Decay Naked Basics 2, this is really nice. And I have enjoyed this 
for just um, kind of using with other palettes or just on its own. I've used it a bunch just on its own, especially when I want to do more of a bold lip. Did you ever think you'd hear me say the words when I want to do a bold lip? <laughs> So really have enjoyed using that as well this month. And then this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. This is a really nice palette. This is the Wet n Wild Smoke in, Mel Smoke in Melrose. Let me get the brushes out. And this, I I was, I don't know, I didn't help hold out high hopes for this for some reason. And then my friend, Ms. Kristen321, found it for me because I couldn't find it here and sent it to me. And just... Really gorgeous. The, the one that I love the most is this one. You can tell it's the one I've used the most. But look at that. I mean, what? They're just gorgeous. It's a rosy taupe. What can I say? And then, so the, I will, the shades that I've used the most are these three across here. I use um, the crease just a tiny bit, the crease color just a tiny bit in my inner corner. I would never use this brow bone color on my brow bone, I use it as a transition color. It looks like that but just pretty rosy perfect for fall in my opinion and I've liked to compare spit it out game I've liked using this with the Ulta pigments which I will show you right now so I did a review on these um, not so long ago and I will link it below in case you missed it these are the Ulta color pure eyeshadow pigments this is the one in icing and this is gorgeous to pair with this quad or Yes, that's one, two, three, four, no, five, Quint. <laughs> um, they're just a gorgeous pairing. That's what I was wearing in the video that I did when I did the review on that. And then the other one that I have is the one in sepia or sepia. Re I really like those. I I'm impressed with how well that they work and how well they stay in the There eye. were a lot of requests in that video to do a tutorial on how I got that look, which was a comparison of these two. So I will try to do that for you guys if you still, if you still want it. You know, by the time I get to it, it could be past fall. I have a lot of videos coming up, I gotta tell you. Well, I, I have the same amount of videos as I usually do, but I have a lot of, I have a backup of videos. Let's just say that. Okay, moving on to lips. Um, okay, I will, I'm gonna do a couple of lips that I really liked, and then I will, show, I will tell you my absolute favorite lip combo of the month. So one of the things that I've rediscovered in my collection is my um, Tarte Lip Surgeons in Glitzy. I just love this. This is great, it pairs with almost everything. And it, it's just, it's awesome. It's right there. I know that I've talked about this a whole bunch. I really like a that. MAC lipstick that I've worn a bunch. And one of my favorite shades in fall is Amorous. Just stunning. Amorous is right up there with Craving and Captive as some of my favorite MAC lipsticks and favorite MAC, MAC lipsticks in the fall. Today I am wearing this one from Calvin Klein, which is in Lip Lock, I think. Yep, 500 Lip Lock. Really like that. Beautiful. So that has been a favorite. Okay, and my absolute favorite lip combo of the month, I've worn this so many times. Every time I, there's a picture on Instagram or something and I'm wearing this or in a video, I get lots of comments about it. And it's the lip liner from Milani. It's I assume this type of lip liner is still available. I can't get Milani. I think I bought this quite a while ago and just hadn't used it. It's the Color Statement Lip Liner in True in, or True Instant Color in 07 Brandy. So it's it's um you sharpen it. It's the word I'm looking for. So I've been using this all over my lips, and this is so creamy. It lasts forever too. I'm really impressed with it. So that's the shade right there. Clearly I need to sharpen that. And then over the top of that, and I've talked about this particular lip lava over and over again. This is from Camp Cosmetics. I'm going to put it right here to the side first, and then I'll show you. It's in Trist. So that's what it looks like there. And then over the top, and you guys, like I said, you've seen it. My empties video I was wearing this combo. In case you want to check that out. That's kind of what it looks like. It's just perfect for fall. Absolutely perfect. Stunning. Love it. Love it. All right. And then I just want to talk about two brushes. I I, I know that I reviewed these and I talked about it in there, but I just in case you weren't interested in that review, um, I wanted to make sure that I mentioned it again. They're both 30 because I used them today. My apologies. This is the It Cosmetics Flat Top Kabuki. It's not what it's called. That's what I call it. It's the Airbrush Buffing Foundation number 110. This is awesome. I... I don't know why I like it so much better than my Sigma F80, which I love. You know, you've heard me talk about that before, but I don't know. I think it might be, I like a longer handle. I'm not 
I know that I'm kind of in the minority there, but I like a little bit of a longer handle. It just seems to buff it into my skin a little bit better. I don't know. There's just something about it that makes it a little bit better. I really like this. I'm happy that it's available at Ulta too, that you could walk in and check it out and not have to order it online and that sort of thing. So I'm happy to have um, a buffing brush like that that I can recommend that is easier access. Um, the price point's not not drugstore, but it's also not high end. I think it's it's a good price point. And then the eye brush that I really have have liked. And in that video, I there were four of them that I said I would suggest, and I do still like all four. But of the of the these are my top two. <laughs> So this is the uh, Airbrush Blending Crease number 105. I used this today for that color in the Wet n Wild palette that they call the Bravo one. Uh, this is an amazing grease brush. It's It just is that perfect combination, in my opinion, of a MAC 224 and a MAC 217. It kind of has, it's, a, it's, a, it's more dense than this. You know, it's, it's the perfect combination of those two. In my opinion, I absolutely love it. Awesome, 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 awesome. Well, I gotta tell you, for a girl who doesn't have very many favorites, I feel like I've been talking a really long time. <laughs> okay, let's have some random favorites, shall we? Um, okay, I drink one, generally one cup of coffee a day in the morning before I go to work. I used to drink two or three. I've cut myself back, but I'm not cutting it out completely because I love coffee. So I found this at Target. Actually, the next, the two random food sort of things I found at Target when I happened to be in a Target. Anywhere I'm close to one, I go into it because I don't have one. <laughs> so this is another a limited edition Green Mountain Coffee. And I, I love the Golden French Toast. I've talked about that in the past. And Pumpkin Spice, of course. The world love pump, loves Pumpkin Spice. But this Autumn Harvest Blend is delightful. I've not seen it anywhere around here. I'm kind of sad that I'm not going to be able to get it again. But... If this is what it says. When the winds pick up and the leaves start to tumble, reach for a cup of this aromatic and richly layered coffee. A hearty blend of medium and French roast beans featuring juicy red fruit notes and a dark chocolate finish. Who doesn't want a cup of that? So it's really good. And Bob actually really likes this as well, which is, I, I had to take it the other day because I was like, could, could, could I have the box? Could there be some left when I want to talk about it? My favorites? Mmm. Okay, and then the next thing I found these, and I posted this on Instagram because I was curious if anybody had seen these before. I've never seen them. So they're called somersaults, and this is funny because somebody on Instagram said, I'm a little bothered by the fact that it's called somersaults, but they're doing a cartwheel, <laughs> which is true. So these are what they are, and this is a six ounce container. These are crunchy little nuggety things. They look like that right there. And this is the, I think I said cinnamon crunch, and it's crunchy nuggets baked with sunflower seeds and toasted grains, 100% natural. Um, definitely not gluten free. I think it says right in the ingredients there's some gluten, so just as an FYI. But there's um, 140 calories for 14 of them, and I can't even eat 14 of them. That's a little too filling. But it says it's as much protein as almonds with just half the fat, good source of fiber and vitamin E. I know that the fat in almonds is, is good fat, but you know. Anyway. I really like these. They're really good. They also have a sea salt one that I saw, but I didn't get that. I just got the one bag. Okay, so last month I did not finish a book of the month, but I did this month. You know, sometimes I just get busy. I seem to be busy. So this is a book that my friend Lindsay from Lindsay Does Nails had sent to me, and it's called The One and Only by Emily Griffin. If you are a girly girl and you like football, this is the perfect mashup of girly girl and football. It was a really good book. I really liked it. Uh, I, I don't want to say much more than that because I, I don't know how to review books without giving things away. But I felt like it was well written. I felt like it, it definitely kept my attention. I am a sit down and read for a couple of hours kind of girl. I'm not a read for five minutes and put it away. Um, that's just not how I work. But anyway, really, really liked this. I, I highly recommend it. It was a great book. Thank you for that, Lindsay. All right. I think that that is the end of what I have to tell you guys today. <laughs> Good gravy. I think I've told you everything that's on my on my face, so I, I'm plumb out of things to tell you. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you had a great day, and here's to an awesome October, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!